This video will provide you with a brief introduction to pH and pOH. All right, let's take a moment to familiarize ourselves with this chart. All right, let's say we have a neutral solution. You know that a neutral solution has a pH of 7. You know, an example of that would be um, pure water. And when we have a pH of 7, um, we've already discovered that the concentration of hydrogen ion is 10 to the minus 7th. Similarly, the concentration of hydroxide ion is the same thing. It's 10 to the minus 7th. So in a neutral solution, the amount of hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion are equal to each other. So as we proceed this direction, um, the solution becomes increasingly basic, like lemon juice, stomach acid, and even hydrochloric acid. As we proceed this direction in the chart, the solution becomes more basic, like household ammonia, sodium bicarbonate, oven cleaner, and even sodium hydroxide. So as we become more acidic, we would expect the concentration of hydrogen ion to increase, um, and we see that it does. As the solution becomes more basic, you can see that the concentration of hydrogen ion decreases, but the concentration of hydroxide increases. Now, I want to point something out. Notice that hydrochloric acid has a pH of 0. So on the pH scale, a 1 molar solution of hydrochloric acid is as acidic as you can get. But you already know from spending time in chemistry um, that there are solutions that are much more acidic than 1 molar hydrochloric acid. In fact, you've even used 6 molar hydrochloric acid in class. Um, and even 18 molar sulfuric acid. And you also know there are things um, more, more basic than 1 molar sodium hydroxide. So what we're discovering here um, is the pH scale um, isn't useful. Once again, the pH scale is not useful for measuring the acidity or alkalinity of all solutions. It, it only really is useful for a narrow range of acidic and basic solutions. So once again, um, hydrochloric acid at 1 molar has a pH of 0. But we know we've dealt with things more acidic than this. So something more acidic cannot be measured using the pH scale. So keeping that in mind, the pH scale is a convenient way to express the concentration of hydrogen ion. So let's take a look. Here's pH going from 0 to 14. So this would be acidic. This would be basic. And look what happens to the concentration of hydrogen ion. This is a solution um, that has a pH of 1. And this has a hydrogen ion concentration of 0.1 moles per liter, or 0.1 molar. So as we proceed down this way, you can see the concentration of hydrogen ion decreases. Now if you look here, we could say that this solution has a molarity of 0 0.000001. Or we could just say this solution has a pH of 6. So don't get confused what the pH scale is. The pH scale is nothing more than a convenient way to express the concentration of hydrogen ion. You know that these brackets mean concentration. And concentration is usually measured in molarity, or moles per liter. So pH is nothing more than a different way to express molarity. And like we established before, the pH scale is only useful for expressing the concentration of weak or dilute acids or bases.